quick video on how we're going to work these four cows in probably 30 minutes with the new setup. Uh, we've got two heifers, two steers. So on the heifers, we're just giving shots and tagging them, um, ear tag. And then on the little bulls, we're going to band them, shots, and tag them. So stay tuned. Let's get to work. Before we head out to get work done, we always want to make sure we're prepared. Um, that means we have to gather all the equipment needed to work cows. Here you can see two different size uh, banders to, to turn bulls into steers. Uh, the black bands are for the larger bander. The green bands are for the smaller bander. Then we want to look at the ear tags. We want to make sure we have all the shots ready to go and anything we're going to need out in the field. And then lastly, we want to make sure the chute and equipment is prepared. Dial her in. Make sure the gate closes. Like it, no noise. That's good. That's good. We showed this off. Super handy to have. How easy it is that handle to get out of your way. I think we're ready to go. Let's do it. Real tough. gentle easy smooth first few years we did this it was rush 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 go 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 and just calm is better um so all this heifer needs is a shot and an ear tag so she was born in 2022 so we typically put the number above the number so the year 22 and then she'll be number 39 so my handy dandy assistant <laughs> the brains behind the actual operation <laughs> more like it uh is gonna again try to work her real calm. Try to get the ear first and then the shot. So here you're just trying to get under the skin, right behind about the shoulder blade. That's a nice humane way to rub it in, John. So we got our tag, 2239, it's a heifer. We're gonna, John's writing it down on his piece of paper. Um, she got a shot today and just an ear tag because she's a heifer. Instead of turning her out in this big pen where we have our longhorns, they're kind of stationed up front. We're gonna um, try to get her to back up. So unsqueeze her, back her up, let loose the head and then turn her out on the other side. This is where the real tough shoot's really cool that has open bays on both sides. So let's see if we can do this without screwing something up. Easy, easy. You smell. It's all right, we'll get her out over here. Turn her out. And she's good. She can go do some eating. Next man up. I feel like a real live mother lipping cowboy. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we're gonna put some pressure behind the cattle. So we got somebody walking up from the rear. I'm gonna try to kind of be out of the way. They have nowhere to want to go except forward. So the other thing you can do is you can just use a, you can poke them in the butt. That's what our filmmaker, film, filmer's doing. Give it a whistle. <laughs> if you can't whistle. I need it to go forward so his head will get stuck. 
This one's not as pretty as the last one. Come on. <laughs> Whatever works. It ain't always the prettiest. I don't know. Might want to check. Looks half fresh. <laughs> Kick you too, so you know this. I don't think they're real big. Don't let them kick you in the face. It's probably the best. <laughs> and you're old. As soon as they say, give it and get smaller. Can move because he's a little small. Sometimes it's hard to get these through the band, but one at a time and a little slow, methodical. The band's up there. One, two, we're good to go down here. This is why you work your cows, I'll say that. When you just spend some time with them, they're a heck of a lot calmer. That could have been torture for everybody. Work the head shoot backwards. It goes two ways, so make sure you go backwards. And now we got the Halley. We're gonna turn them out on the side so we can put them back in the right pasture here. So here also, just go slow. Come on, buddy. So here comes the calf. You can see Ashley is film, filming. She's walking in behind him. Usually subtle pressure and a tap on the rear will do it. If it doesn't, we got the handy dandy poker. Good. See, the key we screwed up the first time was the head, the head gate. They're supposed to slam into it and shut it. We had it too wide the first time we bought it. We had two run through. And uh, once you run them through, you, you might as well consider it done. Like, they, they don't like getting back in there. They just... Hanging down a little bit more. Than the other one, a little bigger. You ready? Yep. A little easier with that bigger band, but still not easy. I'm gonna pull them down and go as far up. Two. Just watch it don't get kicked. So that's the key. Oh, I can see them perfect right here. Is the band up on it? It's up there. Yeah. Sure. Forty-two. Here it's lined up there. Just rub that ear and find those two. Yeehaw! All right. 
No problem. Try not to stab yourself. Good game. You want one out? Yeah, we're just going to try to get them all in here after being riled up like that. Just calm them down, let them know everything's okay, give them some food. A couple things in summary. Um, this is really the first time we've had a chance to use this setup uh, since we bought it. And I'll put a link here to the video uh, where we walked through the setup, how we designed it, why we laid it out the way we did. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for tuning in.